Hi guys, I am, can't even believe I'm doing this, but I have had so many requests from moms about how I do my makeup. So first of all, I just want to warn you before I do this that I'm in no way a makeup artist. I have no background in, you know, makeup or cosmetics or anything like that. But I think that's maybe the beauty of this is that I really am just like you, but I want to show you how I can quickly do a quick face of makeup really quickly for a busy mom. I own my own business. I stay at home. I work from home. Um, I really don't have a lot of time to get ready. Half the time this is in a messy bun or in a ponytail, um, in a hat or something. So I did get a shower and washed my hair and kind of dried it. I like semi dried it, but to get my hair out of my face, I'm just gonna do a quick little low bun. And I'm actually just going to, this kind of gives me curls too, so this is another little trick, side trick. Um, when I just make a, a little bun in the back without a, a hair tie at first, and then I put the hair tie on. And my hair is pretty much dry, but my hair is so thick and it takes forever to dry. So I am just gonna go ahead and leave that there. Hopefully I'll get a couple natural kind of looking wavy curls so that when I do actually completely dry it and style it later on today, I will be good to go. So I wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Literally most days I am like rushing out the door or you know trying to entertain my little guy or whatever. So. First of all, I use a all natural um, a cream for my face. It is this brand, Juliana or Hyalunia. I don't even know how you say it. Um, one of my girlfriends is very much into organic and um, non GMO and all that stuff for our faces. And so I do use some of the products that she sells. I will put her um, contact info in the, um, in the link below just so you can see that. So I'm not really big on um, face regimens as far as you know, washing and using all of these different um, lines of products because honestly, you know, I had acne at one point in my life really bad. It was because of my stress uh, from a job and hormones, but besides that, I do have pretty good skin, but, but more than that, I truly believe it's what you put inside your body, not just what you put on your face that really makes a difference. So, first up is that. Second up is a foundation. I am still in the search of my favorite foundation. Once I had my son, I went all natural and tried to switch out all of my products from um, all the ones that have the harsh chemicals into um, organic and all natural stuff. Well, I was using 100% pure, so that is definitely an option for you, um, but I ran out, and you have to order that online, and so I grabbed something quick from Target one day, and I'm using it up until it's done. So I don't necessarily love this stuff, but I use it until it's done, and I actually just connected with a woman yesterday who is selling, I think it's Beauty, um, Beauty Bar or something like that, and it's all natural stuff, or mostly all natural, so um, I use one of these sponges to put on my foundation. Um, I used, I've used hands, I've used brushes, um, I've used just about everything, and I don't know, I've been loving these lately. I switch them out like once a month, because um, they do get kind of funky. So it goes on really easily, and the lighting in this, um, in my screen is pretty bad, so I'm going to be using the lighting and look, using my mirror over here a little bit. Um, so I just make sure that this goes on even. Super quick. I am not a perfectionist when it comes to makeup. Again, guys, I have no makeup background. So I'm just a mom who likes to feel nice a little bit. I don't even wear makeup every day considering I work from home, but I usually do put on mascara and lip gloss and maybe a little bit of blush or um, bronzer. But just make sure it's all even. And these sponges do a great job for that. And then I do a, just a light, powder. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but it's just a compressed powder. Um, and just all over. Super simple. And then I also, yeah, if I have like dark circles, I will use some kind of a concealer. They're not too bad right now. Um, but it's nice just to get a little bit of that. All right, 
next up is my, depending on how I want to do this, if I'm kind of, if, I've, if I want to go a little bit further, if I just want to make it super quick, if I just want to do something super quick, I just use a blush and go. Um, if I want to make it a little bit better to, you know, to highlight my face, I do love the, um, the contour, the Anastasia. Anastasia, however you say it, Beverly Hills, um, the contour kit. I have the powder. I don't have the cream one um, simply because I don't really even know how to use it. So I use the light one in the middle to highlight my cheeks and the, this part. And then I might do a little up there. And then I use one of the darker shades to do some of the contouring. So I suck in my cheeks. I just go all the way up and around. And if I have a hat on, I don't really go all the way up here. There's really no point. Um, and then I do the same to the other side. I'm actually doing a call tonight about my business. Uh, I'm, I'm a guest speaker on another um, one of my friends' calls. That's a fellow coach, and so that is what motivated me to get ready this morning um, and to actually get a shower. And I usually just put a little bit under here, outline the bottom, gives a little bit of a shadow, and then I will come back and kind of buff this out. Really, just with that same brush that I used before. That way, you really can't see those lines. All right, next up is a blush. So I'm also in the search of a perfect blush. The last one that I got from MAC, um, and MAC's definitely not all natural, um, is a little too orangey for me. So I've kind of been mixing um, a little bit of that and a little bit of my NARS orgasm, but honestly, the orgasm to me is too, um, it's too bright. It just doesn't. Do the same thing with that brush, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Shake off the excess. And right above that line that I used, the, the, um, the contouring kit. So that's that, just a little bit, it's not much. Um, and then I do love soft and gentle mineralized skin finish from MAC. Again, not all natural. These things last forever. I just usually do a little bit of a shine there, I do a little on my nose, right above my lip, and that's it there. All right, so my face is pretty much done. That's it. Again, this lighting is pretty bad, so it's really hard to see, but um, it looks good to me in, in this lighting. So next up are my eyes, and I love to play up my eyes. You can see how dry my lips are right now. Oh my gosh. Um, but I always curl my eyelashes really quickly. Um, I need to get a new one because this the little rubber part on this is definitely like wearing out. And my other eye. I always play at my eyes more than anything because that's my body part that I love the most. I'm usually a pretty simple um, lip gloss kind of girl. All right, so I love MAC pigments. Um, they're awesome. So I use the, I think it's vanilla or, yeah, vanilla for my whole lid. And I get a brush wet, dip it in there, and I just cover my whole lid. And just make it even. And I always bring it down a little bit to get that inner corner. Same thing on the other side. I get my brush just a little bit wet and then cover the entire eyelid from eyelash to eyebrows. Guys, my eyebrows are a whole other story. Um, I've never really done a ton with them. So I need some help there. Um, But that can be for another video. Okay, so that's that. Then I take a brush.
brush that looks like this. And I take my purple, if not purple, I do a brown, but for the most part, most of the time I do a dark purple. And I absolutely love Shadow Lady uh, MAC, Shadow Lady in matte. And I just get a little bit, tap it off. And I just go in the crease back and forth, back and forth, just to give a little bit of a shadow. I guess I can turn that water off. And I do a majority on the outside corner and just um, brush up. Again, guys, I have no makeup background. I've just paid attention to the Matt girls, and I have two makeup artist friends, Ashley and Bethany, that um, I adore. And so I've, you know, taken lessons from them and just tried to learn um, what they do. So any of my professional photos, my makeup has been done by my girlfriend, Ashley. Okay. And just really bring it up. So it's not a ton. Again, this lighting is so bad, but in my mirror, it looks really good. <laughs> in here, it doesn't look so great. Um, then eyeliner. So I have not, I used to love this stuff. It's just the Maybelline A Define A line. And I used to love it, but I actually don't like it anymore. I ran out of my organic pot. I usually use a, um, a, a brush and a, and a a wet gel but I ran out and I was in a bind the same day that I was in a bind and bought the other foundation and I bought one of these and let me just tell you this gets everywhere but I literally just line my top eye eyelid and I do my bottom but I don't go all the way I just usually go halfway right around there. So that's that eye. And then the same on this side. As close to the eyelid as you can get, even. And make sure you get that corner. And then close it up on the bottom. Okay, there we go. And then, I love my Better Than Sex Mascara, which I've gone back and forth with liking it and other stuff, but this is definitely my favorite lately. So I am huge on mascara. It's like my one product, that and lip gloss, that I really couldn't go without, honestly, like stranded on an island. Um, you guys always do that O face, right? And then if I get any mascara or something funky on my eye, just take a, um, take a Q-tip and just buff it out a little bit. Had a little dot, a couple dots there. All right, and then this side. And I know this probably took a little longer than um, it seems, but seriously, guys, I can do my makeup in like five minutes. If I'm not really thinking about it or talking about it, so there are often days I literally do get ready in like 10 to 15 minutes between showering, um, that probably takes the longest time, um, throwing my hair up in a messy bun um, or throwing in a ponytail with a hat. I mean, that's like my life. Um, one of the amazing perks of being an online, you know, health and fitness and life coach is that everything's done online. So I don't really have to get dressed up or go into an office or do anything. So, all right guys, that is it. That is my makeup. Um, I hope that was a little bit helpful. Guys, I seriously don't do anything fun or fancy. It's just, I do a face out. And then of course you need, you need lip gloss. So I just do um, a foundation and then this, by the way, is a new product from Burt's Bees, and I like it. It gives a little bit of color, but it's like, um, it moisturizes your lips. So, um, yeah, I literally just do foundation, do a little bit of blush. If I want, I use my contouring powder. It literally is pretty much the exact same thing as doing blush. 
um, suck in my cheeks do a little bit of the highlight there. Um, I use my, I just curl my eyelashes, do a one light color on my eyelids, do a little bit darker in the, of something like purple like this in the lids, and then um, just a quick eyeliner and mascara. That's it. Literally like five minutes and you're ready to go. So this is a whole other issue as far as my um, my hair, but again, I'm typically in a messy bun, in a ponytail, in a hat. Um, otherwise, I just, you, I love dry shampoo and I use that daily. So, all right, guys, again, I just am warning you, I am not a makeup artist, but this is what I do every day when I get ready quickly, even if I'm getting ready for church or whatever, this is typically what I do. I might doll up a little bit more, um, or I might do my eyebrows a little bit, which, you know, they could definitely use some work, but again, that's for another video. So I hope that helps, and I really appreciate all of your sweet, kind comments um, about my makeup. It's definitely nothing special at all, but since I had so many requests, I thought I would do a quick video for you, and I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous day.